Hello everyone, welcome back to another Axe James the Steam Team episode 17. So let's start answering questions that we got here for today. First we have here is RWS Thomas MLP Fan 1238. He he has three questions. One, do you always be in the main villain in Tale of the Brave? Well, sometimes, but not really all the time. I saw that your community post that, that you asked me about why I, what I was a villain. Well, a little bit. It, I used... I was just a villain a little bit, but not really too much. Two, have you and Emily dated? Well, yeah. Sometimes. Oh, yeah. We did. Three, have you always been both black and pink? Well, I was black in the, in the, in the adventure begins. I was painted black. Before I was red, I was painted black. When I was pulling trucks, my brakes started on fire. And I became a runaway and I crashed directly to the field. And y yes, I was, I was black before. But I was, but I got rid of the black coat and I was painted red. And, and if you're asking me about, I was, been pink. <laughs> I remember that I was pink. That the episode called Tinkle Pink. Is really it was it, it's really a splendid funny episode. I know people don't. I you, I actually been in pink before. I feel like a little bit silly, but right now that I feel like the top hat is about to give one of these engines a punishment for teasing me about my pink coat. Even though pink is my other coat, <laughs> it, it makes me really laugh. I found that episode to be funny. Next we have her is Brendan Light. 3719 he has five questions and bonus questions one have you ever thought of all them would be like well my thought of all them would be be like I feel like the cheap trees were will be changing colors orange red and yellow and brown two who is your favorite character from Truth for Tom my favorite character from Tree for Tom is Zigzu. And but Emily, if you're asking about my my girlfriend's favorite character from Tree for Tom, my girlfriend's favorite character is Ariella. And I also have two sprite two favorite characters, which is a sprites. One is Goose and the other is Lavender. Three, do you think about anything else could possibly happen next week? Well, you never know. Well, possibly. Four, when you are here to go to the pumpkin picking and there is one missing here, what you you say to this? I don't know. Five, imagine if you are preparing for the concert to go and you discover that someone is missing, how should you say to the grown-up? Well, I might ask him, why is there someone is missing? I will ask him, what happened? And some of them told me that I left it. Sorry about that. That's just, that's just, just a notification. Anyways... I feel like I want to go return to the, uh, any of the stations that 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 someone is missing. I might return to the station and maybe someone was there. Bonus question. What should Toby do that always can do it all by himself? Well, if, well, if you're asking about you can do it Toby from the episode. Well, I have no idea. I actually met Toby before. 
I used to be rude towards Toby, then then I apologize to Toby about my actions. Next we have here is Tom the Sprite Team 1. And he asks opinion on the the hit era scrolloy childish engine. When I saw the Hit Era series, the Hit Era is making Skulloey very childish. I'm like, what is wrong with Skulloey? I know people don't like Skulloey in the Hit Era because, because we all know that that Skull Hit Era Skulloey was acting very childish. Like Skulloey is too old to be childish. That's why I prefer Sir Handel. Well, much better than the hit era Skrulloey. Because I know that Skrulloey is an old engine. Like, this is why the, 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 I found out people don't like the hit era because it's just the childish, childish stuff. But if you guys like hit era Skrulloey, that's fine. I'm fine with your opinion. Next we have here is Thomas the Parody Maker B5U and he asks what's your opinion on the, the Great Discovery Tower Crash? For my opinion on the, the that movie on the Great Discovery, it's a good movie. And if my opinion on the scene where Tower crashed, oh my. It's it was terrifying. I remember at the time Sangley's car is went into the tower and it smashed directly to it. Um, oh dear. Next we have here is Mace Grinny. And he asks, what's your opinion on Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom? Great show. Next we have here is Kimberly Martin Pickard 751. And he asks, what's your opinion on Up Storm Scene? My opinion on Up, it's a it's a really good movie. And the storm scene, I want to say it's, it's probably a little bit, it's kind of a little bit terrifying. Next we have here is Lilina Lawson X2D. And she asks, what's your opinion on Cars 3 Lightning McQueen crashes? For Cars 3, the movie, it's it's pretty cool cool sequel and my my opinion on Lightning McQueen's crash scene it's terrible but Lightning McQueen is trying to it's trying to be Jackson Storm but all of a sudden he crashed he 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 got into an accident and it was terrible and last but not least we have here is Sabrina Greeny 7520 and he asked, what's your opinion on Zara Dawson? She's a decent character. Alright everyone, that's it for this questions we have here for today. If you have more questions to ask me, feel free to post comments below. If you're, if you're new to this channel, feel welcome to subscribe to me. We're almost there at 400 subscribers. But anyways, this is James. See you later. Goodbye.